And hi, I'm Francisco, and today I'm going to show you some helpful tips related to the iOS use. Since you know Apple's latest update is packed with exciting new features, but like any significant update, it's not without its bumps. From iOS 18 volume bug issues to Wi-Fi connectivity problems, many users have reported some frustrating glitches. But don't worry, I'm here to help you get everything back to normal. In this tutorial, I'll cover 8 of the most common issues that iOS 18 users are dealing with right now. Wait, before anything else, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. So we've got 8 common issues in iOS 18 and how to fix them. Let's dive into the core of today's video, in which I'll uncover 8 common issues in iOS 18 and how to fix them. From sluggish performance to some hardware issues, I'll break down each problem and walk you through simple steps to get your device back on track. Issue number 1, iOS 18 Volume Bug Starting with the iOS 18 Volume Bug, this issue has been frustrating for many users since the update. If you're wondering what the main cause of this issue is, well, it occurs because of glitches in the sound settings that cause unexpected changes in volumes of ringtones. So users report that their volume either gets too loud or media sounds become too low. Other than issues in sound settings, software conflicts, or outdated iOS firmware can also lead to this annoying bug. And now that we know why iOS 18 volume bug happens, let's move on to the fix. One of the easiest ways to resolve this issue is by adjusting your sound settings. For that, you have to locate the sound and haptic settings of your device to manage the sound quality of ringtones or text tones. So once you alter the settings, there is a possibility possibility that you won't face the issue again. So here's how you can review these settings on your iOS 18 iPhone to overcome this bug. So first navigate to the settings application on your iOS 18 device and tap the sound and haptics option. From the newly appeared screen, adjust the ringer and alert slider to your preferred volume. Toggle the change with buttons option to control the volume without manually visiting the phone settings in the future. And this should fix things for you. Issue number two, iPadOS 18 Math Notes issue. Moving on to the other most common issue, we will talk about the problems with Math Notes in iPadOS 18 that affects the equation authenticity. This often happens due to a glitch in the brand new Math Notes feature within the calculator app, mainly when you're handling advanced math symbols and formatting. Restarting the device is one of the foremost approaches you can consider when talking about fixing this problem. By doing so, you can overcome performance issues and clear temporary glitches that are affecting the device's usability. Now, follow me and to learn how you can restart your iPad OS 18 to resolve this issue. To restart your iPad, press and hold the power button along with the volume button until you see the power off slider then drag the slider to turn it off. Wait a few seconds, then press and hold the power button. Now your device will restart in a few seconds to resolve temporary glitches and refresh the system. Issue number three, iOS 18 music haptics not working. Other than math notes, are you experiencing issues with music haptics on iOS 18 as well? You're not alone here because many iOS 18 users have reported that haptic feedback for music controls isn't working as expected. One of the main reasons behind this glitch is that either your software has bugs or settings are not compatible with each other. Now that we know why the haptic feedback isn't working for music controls, let me tell you that if you ensure that your Apple Music app is up to date, you can easily overcome this query. With this, you can improve the overall user experience by boosting the application performance and fixing the possible bugs. So let's see how you can verify if your application is updated or not. To do this, open the settings app on your iPhone and access the general settings by scrolling down. Here, you have to tap on the software update option and and wait for your iPhone to check for the updates from the Apple servers. If an update is detected, press the install now slash update now button to update your Apple Music app. Issue number four, iOS 18 shortcuts not working. When you update your iPhone to the latest iOS 18, some of the useful shortcuts may not function as they should. This problem often arises from changes in app permissions or settings that occur during the update. Additionally, some shortcuts may not be compatible with the new version, which leads to unexpected errors or failures when attempting to run them. As I mentioned, shortcuts can occasionally become corrupted or outdated, which causes them to stop working. If a particular shortcut isn't functioning, consider creating it again from scratch. 
Here's how you can do it. Open the Shortcuts app on your iPhone, tap the Select button, and choose the shortcut that's not working. Then hit the Delete button located at the bottom right corner of your screen. Now from here, hit the plus icon at the top of your screen to recreate the shortcut. You just need to add the desired actions again to recreate the shortcut and press the Done button. Hence, by recreating the shortcut, users can often resolve any glitches and restore its functionality. Issue number five, iPhone email not working on iOS 18. Other than the common issues explained before, many users have reported that their email does not function correctly after upgrading to iOS 18. This issue often arises due to incorrect account settings, such as server details or authentication issues, that may reset during the update. Additionally, network connectivity problems or app bugs can also interfere with email synchronization and access. And now that we've identified why email issues may arise in iOS 18, let's discuss how to fix them. A straightforward solution is to delete your email account and then add it back again. So follow along and see how you can do just that. Open the Settings app on your iPhone and scroll down to tap on Apps, then swipe up and access the Mail settings. After that, you need to press the Mail Accounts option to find the email account that's not working. Now choose the account that is causing the problem and hit the Delete Account button when accessing the newly appeared screen. After removing the account, go back to the Account screen and press Add Account. Now choose the account that you just deleted and enter the credentials again to re-add your email address. Issue number six, disappeared contacts on iPhone after updates iOS 18. Have you noticed that your contacts have disappeared after updating to iOS 18? Well, this issue usually occurs due to syncing problems between iCloud and your iPhone. Another reason could be glitches that are occurring during the update process. Moreover, accidental deletions can lead to this problem, which may cause severe distress among users. No matter the reason, if your contacts have vanished, don't worry. It's possible that you accidentally deleted a contact or they disappeared after syncing during the iOS 18 update. But if you've been using iCloud, to back up your contacts, there's a way to recover them. Let's walk through the steps to restore your deleted contacts using iCloud to fix this issue. First, open a web browser and go to the official iCloud website to sign in with your Apple ID. From the main interface, hit the profile icon to choose the iCloud settings option. There, navigate to the data recovery tab and pick the restore contact option. After accessing the restore contacts option, you will be able to view the date and time when your contacts were modified. Simply click the restore button to bring back all the contacts that disappeared on your iPhone. Issue number seven, iPhone flashlight not working on iOS 18. Alongside other issues, some users have noticed their flashlight stops working after updating to iOS 18. This issue often occurs due to software glitches in the camera app or control center. Before navigating into fixing this issue, users should ensure that the camera app isn't conflicting with the flashlight. Sometimes the iOS 18 update can cause minor glitches in the control center, which may affect the flashlight function. A simple toggle on and off can help reset the flashlight feature to make it responsive again. Let's go through the instructions to learn how to fix it by turning it on and off. To fix this issue, swipe down from the top right corner of your iPhone's home screen and enter the control center. Then locate the flashlight icon and tap it to turn it off, then hit it again to turn it on. If it's still unresponsive, just restart your iPhone and repeat the steps. This often clears temporary system bugs. Issue number eight, iOS 18 Wi-Fi issues. Some iPhone users experience Wi-Fi problems after updating to iOS 18, such as slow speed, frequent disconnections, or an inability to connect. These issues typically arise from software bugs in the update and changes to network configuration settings. One easy solution for the iOS 18 not being able to connect to Wi-Fi is to reset the network settings on the iPhone. Resetting the network settings on your iPhone will remove all saved Wi-Fi passwords and VPN profiles. Let's explore how to fix Wi-Fi connectivity issues through the network settings. Open the settings on your iPhone and tap on the general. Now, swipe up till the end and hit the Transfer or Reset iPhone option. After accessing the Transfer or Reset iPhone screen, simply hit the Reset option. Finally, a bottom-up menu will appear where you have to choose the Reset Network Settings option and complete the required authentication steps. This will reset all of your network settings to solve your Wi-Fi issues. 
And now we've got an all-in-one solution for all iOS 18 issues that you're facing. If the above fixes don't work for you, we recommend that you use Wondershare Doctor Phone, which can help tackle various iOS 18 issues. Its system repair tool is designed to resolve a wide range of problems from system glitches to network issues without risking your data. This user-friendly software can quickly restore your iPhone to optimal functionality, which makes it a great option if you're still facing challenges after trying other fixes. Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS Tool comes packed with features that make it a powerful solution for addressing iOS issues. Additionally, iPhone users can use its iOS upgrade or downgrade feature to repair issues if their device is stuck or unable to launch. If it sounds interesting, continue watching and learn how to use Wondershare Dr. Phone System Repair Tool to fix all of these iOS 18 issues. Initially, you need to download the latest version of Wondershare Doctor Phone Toolbox on your computer and open it. From its main interface, click the Toolbox tab and choose the System Repair feature from the list of features. After that, plug in your iOS device using a cable and choose the iPhone option within the Select Your Device Type section. Now click on iOS Repair from the System Repair tools and then choose the Standard Repair option from the subsequent screen that pops up to avoid data loss. Following that, you have to enter recovery mode on your iOS device. After performing that action, press the Enter Recovery Mode button on your screen and initiate the download of the appropriate firmware for your device. You will be able to see various firmware options on the next screen from where you have to choose one to download and utilize for resolving iOS 18 issues. After installing the firmware, click on the button labeled Repair Now to initiate the repair procedure. Then a loading screen will appear during the repair process. Once the repair has been finished, the message displayed on the final screen will read Repair Completed. Finally, you're able to press the Done button in order to complete the procedure. Now your iOS 18 issues have been resolved successfully. Well, that's it from today's tutorial regarding eight common issues in iOS 18 that users are facing and how to fix them. We've explored everything from volume bugs to Wi-Fi connectivity problems, and I hope you found the solutions helpful. If you've tried all of these methods but are still facing persistent issues, I highly recommend Wondershare Dr. Phone. With its user-friendly interface and effective repair capabilities, Dr. Phone is the go-to solution for any iOS 18 glitches that you may encounter. So be sure to check it out if you need a reliable fix. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tech tips and tutorials. And we will be seeing you all on the next video.